Gemini, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Gemini, trust that there is a message here for you. And Gemini, that message begins with work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, well, I'm reading this in Scorpio season. There could be a new beginning that is unfolding for you across November. Okay, now you're being asked to work through your fears, Gemini, because often, you know, when we are stepping into the unknown or into a new beginning those fears worries maybe insecurities can come up sometimes we might be worried about can we meet the expectations how is this going to go what if it's not a success but what if we could just quieten down those thoughts and come back to the present moment and just put one foot in front of the other and move forward okay well let's see what this may pertain to I'm going to the Oracle of the Angels now, Gemini, and we have for you fulfillment. Wow, okay, and I just see someone who is at the threshold of crossing into sort of a new doorway here. So maybe, you know, you've been following a bit of a long and windy path to get somewhere, and finally, you know, you're on the foothold of success here. And sometimes that can be scary, right? Um, I just feel like some of you are stepping through a new door to fulfill some kind of hope, dream, or wish here. Now, maybe, you know, you're still working on that uh, process. And if so, it really feels like you're being asked to, to take a, a bigger leap towards that. Okay, let's go to the tarot. I've got the beautiful, accurate AF round tarot here, Gemini. And I'm pulling for you. What do we have here? The three of wands. Yeah. So this is an energy of expansion. And it's often an energy that comes in when you have really decided to you know, put the past in the past and move forward into, you know, new territory here. Now, it comes after the two of ones where we're often uh, planning, dreaming, scheming and desiring some kind of change. Now, this is the actual, let's say, executing on that change energy, something that you've been wanting to create. Now, I also want to say that the three of wands says that if you sort of step over this threshold or, you know, leap into this and be all in, then that's when your ships come in. There might be some early stages of success here that are starting to show for you. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, two of swords. But I just feel like some of you are still in that indecision. Okay, so some of you might be like going, taking one step towards the three of sword, three of one, sorry, back to the two. It's like I kind of take a step forward and then I might go back or pause. So the two of swords is really asking you to make a firm decision, weigh up your options here. Don't, you know, go into avoidance or indecision. Forward movement is necessary and we want to make sure that we're deciding from fact and logic, okay, the known, but also emotional intelligence and intuition. Because if we add those layers, then the best option can shift, can change. Well, Page of Pentacles is here. And I always say that the page is like the orchestration of the ace of the same suit coming in. So you are being prepared for the ace of pentacles, right? And that for me is a solid new beginning towards the fulfillment of some kind of hope, dream and wish. But you need to work through your fears and it feels like there is a final decision to be made here. And that is really to leap on in fully or not. Now, the Dawn of Rings can be associated with a messenger of opportunity. So for some of you, this could be a new opportunity that is sort of coming out of the blue as well. And I've got the, the Queen of Swords here, which is Libra energy. So this could be a new contract coming in with this energy. She often is the kind of legal component, the signing on a dotted line energy. She's also clarity of the way forward. So I think you will get the clarity on that decision. And I really think that you're being encouraged to come back to alignment with your truth and what you're really wanting. This just could be the change, the adjustment, the modification that you are needing. And I'm pulling the three of cups here, my goodness. I'll make this the last one because this is an energy of celebration and it's celebrating growth. We start with the number three, 
We end with a number three. The threes are about creation. They are about expansion. Okay, so this is your reading if you are trying to make a decision, a really important decision on a new direction or a new opportunity here. For some reason, it's bringing up some kind of fears within you, fear of the unknown, fear of expectation, fear of failure, maybe fear of success for some of you. This is your point of change to cross the threshold, step through the new door, and this is really your indication to take that leap of faith, and if you do, it's going to bring some kind of celebrated outcome, result, or fulfillment of some kind of solid new beginning coming into fruition for you, Gemini. So of course, being a general reading, it will be different for all of you. This could be, you know, a new work opportunity. This could be a new home, new rental, you know, new home to purchase. The Ace of Pentacles brings those kind of solid beginnings, okay? Uh, something that, you know, you maybe you've really wanted to, to take form is coming into reality. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini, and I hope you enjoyed this message. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below to my website, and you can check out what I offer there. And don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe on your way out. I would be super grateful for that and I will just wish you all the love and magic now I'll see you back here in two days time for your weekly tarot reading but also just want to let you know to stay tuned Gemini because your 2024 yearly reading is coming very soon as well and that will give you a real tune in to what you can expect in this next year and hey maybe this is the seeding of some of that change so I will wish you the very best see you back here very soon Gemini bye for now